was talking to me, and he said, Julie, you know, you're really good. Uh, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, math, and then we had a D for design. Um, you, you notice how the arts enable us to become storytellers. So, uh, these women were called computers way before we had the history of these women, along with the help from NASA and Dr. Bell, and Margo was, Margo's father was a research scientist at NASA. Uh, he is the consummate storyteller for NASA, is the NASA historian. Uh, he said, you know, we need a couple times a year to kind of understand those requirements. From a research... To qualify people, they all had advanced, uh, they all had one. cost degrees in mathematics. In my new movie, Hidden Figures, we learn about the brilliant African-American women. We'll take a question. Uh, from the studio, actually, please. Let's from the studio. We've got a couple cool. of questions from... The President and the Congress say, wow. Uh, they established the NACA, and the purpose of the NACA was to try to help us catch up with the rest of the world. Um, and we did. Yeah, not only did we catch up, but we just blew past everybody. You know, I always love coming here. I, I use the term the mother center, and it just goes, you know, it's, it's, embla it's emblazoned in her brain. So she always knows how to go. So part of the way down here, one of those hallmark uh, anniversary celebrations we have. So I really want to thank all of you for the hospitality that you show us. That is where every agency of the federal government is supposed to go to some of the leaders are supposed to bring <laughs> Mine are very dry, so that your ears are very soft. Now, of course, the start of a bold new adventure to send human explorers. Charlie has a rich and illustrious history. Uh, he's a retired Marine Major General, a four-time... You know, it's not lost on me that the reason that I'm able to stand here as the first African-American NASA Administrator working for the first African-American President of the United States is because I'm standing on the shoulders of Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson, Katherine Johnson, and Christine Ritchie. Pave the way for NASA's diverse workforce. And this is presented to Katherine Johnson. computers at NASA, uh, we were forward thinking, making changes, their minds impacted the world and certainly changed uh, this country for the better, I think. Pat just came in, down in the red jacket.